Welcome to the Blue Sizzlers Podcast. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Blurs and Nerds podcast. I'm Shannon, and I'm James. It's just us two today. Um, I think Jato overslept. Let's let's shame him for being in no call, no show. <laughs> That's usually how it goes when somebody's missing. Um, but yes, we're back for another week, uh, bringing you our thoughts on everything going on in nerd culture. Uh, just a forewarning, guys, we're a little bit all over the place today. Uh, <laughs> we didn't have a chance to structure a rundown for this episode, so, you know, we're just going to go off the top of our heads, so sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so sorry if there's no structure to anything we're about to talk about. Anyway, uh, James, how have you been? Uh, it's been two weeks since we've seen you. What have you been up to? Um, I had some nerdy things. Oh, wait, let me pull up my nerdy notes. Um, but yeah, it's been actually a pretty hectic couple of two weeks, particularly this weekend. Um, so I had our, our indoor track season ended yesterday, state okay. track meet was yesterday. So I left from home, went to the state track meet and then came back home all on the same day. So it was, it's in Virginia beach. So it was like three and a half hour drive, something like that. Okay. But yeah, I left home at like five and I did get back home until like 2 AM. So Ooh. yeah, it was, it was quite a day for me yesterday. And then, um, throughout the week I've been, I actually been using that Digivice, um, the Tamagotchi oh, really? that, that, yeah, Jaja, uh, Jaja sent. So it sucks that he's not here today to kind of talk I know. about it. Him, yeah. Maybe yeah. next week I'll, I'll have some better luck being a Digi dad because uh, let me tell you, both my Digimon have died. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the first one died probably within the same day. So actually when I, when I was setting it up, mm. I didn't, I didn't know how to set the time. So I didn't read the instructions at all. I was just like, let me figure it out myself. And then, yeah, I didn't know how to set the time. <laughs> so it was like, it was like 3 PM. And then I set the time for like, 12.08 a.m. So the uh-huh. time was totally wrong. The Digimon was like awake when I was asleep, asleep when I was awake. It was, <laughs> it was all over the place. So it, the, yeah, the first one died like instantly. And then instantly. The next one, <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, the next one, it lasted um probably three, four days. I even like brought it to the office because I start, I Jaja said you can turn the sound off. So I, yeah, I turned the sound off, had it in the office with me. Um, but yeah, like every time I remember like, oh, let me check it out. Let me see if anything's going on. It would be like poop everywhere. And it, it's hungry. <laughs> and it's, like halfway dead so I was like oh dang I'm doing a terrible job right now so this time around I'll read the instructions um Jaja actually sent me like some link about uh, how to get certain Digimon like what conditions need to be met for the Digiball to certain things oh cool okay so yeah I'll, I'll check that out this time but yeah my first go around I was like all right I'm not going to read no instructions I'll just figure it out and uh I figured out that I can kill it pretty easily so um this that time I would like to figure out how to keep it alive <laughs> the instructions. did um, anyone at work see you using it no, I didn't get it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, just... not that I was like trying to hide it or anything, but no one happened to be looking when I was uh, when I was using it. Okay. It's yeah. a pretty small device, actually. Actually, let me go grab it. So yeah, it's like. Oh yeah, it's pretty tiny. Yeah. I mean, it looks even like more concealed than a phone. Like you just pull it out. It's only like three buttons on there. So. Yeah. It's it's um not black and white, but what's it what's it. All the, the uh, like pixel? Just, pixels? just yeah, yeah, pixels. Okay, okay. Okay. Cool. So yeah, hopefully so ho- hopefully next week you'll be better at it. it right. They are they are annoying and hard to maintain. <laughs> yeah, hopefully I set the time right this time. <laughs> yeah, so I did that. Um I finished reading my Saturday AM comic that I was reading, Soul Beat. Well, I didn't okay. finish, I, I got caught up. So um stories it, it got a lot more interesting. So essentially it's like a heaven and hell story. Mm-hmm. So the guy's trying to prevent himself from going to hell, but the, the people from the actual underworld came up to come get him instead because they're like, essentially there's teams in the underworld of uh, people. I, I don't know what their missions are and stuff, but yeah, there's like three different teams and all three of them want this one guy that's alive. And he's trying mm-hmm. to, he's trying to make his way to heaven actually. But they're like, Hey man, you live this sort of life already. You, you already deserve to be down here. So we're coming to get you. So um, that's kind of where it's at now. It's, it's super interesting. So they're like, the three different teams, the leaders of those teams are fighting each other. So the underworld bosses are fighting each other. Um, and then there's an angel. Well, I don't know if it's an angel, but someone, a representative of heaven came down mm-hmm. to save him. So that, that's where I'm at in that story. Um, we'll nice. see how far, how, how it progresses. And then more Yu-Gi-Oh, of course, um, still a whole of lot course. of Yu-Gi-Oh. Because it's, since it's mobile, it's like the easiest game to play. Yeah. Uh, How's it going? How's- uh, it's, it's, the cheaters have arrived. So they make it... Um, I don't know if you're familiar with Yu-Gi-Oh, but there's a card, Exodia. Like, if you have yeah. it in your hand, yeah, so you win the game when you have all five pieces. 
So typically in Yu-Gi-Oh, you can have a minimum of 40 cards in your deck. So the cheaters have figured out a way to make it so they have like six or seven cards in their deck and you draw five automatically at the beginning of the game. So if five of your six cards are in your hand that automatically make you win, then the game is over. So mm. the, the duels are ending before they even start because people are starting off with, with this whole, like, I have all five pieces of this. I, I want to do automatically. So that's, that's been not, going on. That's yeah, not, not at all. So, and then there, there was an event that was pretty cool. Um, XZ's event. Okay. Uh, and then, so you remember my card that uh, actually I have yes. it. My, my prize possession. Did you send it I off to get a, a praised? So this, this is what I want to go into now. Uh, so I was, I looked it up. I was, um, I mean, I, there's a few different reputable grading companies. Yeah. So the most popular one, PSA. I looked, mm-hmm. I was like, all right, how much does it cost to get something graded? So I was very shocked at the price. Um, Ooh, how was, much <laughs> so it's a hundred dollars minimum per card. A hundred dollars minimum. What, yeah. why is it? Okay. I'll let you explain it before I even yeah, ask so it. Go ahead. I wish I knew, but yeah, that I, I'm in the wrong business because a $100 minimum per card. And that's if it's like valued at $1,500 or less. So it actually gets more expensive. Um, so the more, it, the more the really? Right. So the, the, well, what they consider the value for the card, they could send you like, Hey, your card is worth this much your bill with us is going to be this much. So it goes all the way up to $10,000 is the most expensive to grade a single card. So what? And you don't yeah. know ahead of time until you send it in. Exactly. Okay. But then at that point, is it too late? Be like, never mind. Don't even look yeah. at it. <laughs> I think it'll be too late by then. That's uh, kind of messed up. Yeah, <laughs> that's kind of messed up. I feel like you should have an idea of how much it's going to be before you even send it to them. I feel like that's a trap almost. Right. So in, in discovering that, I was like, all right, what other grading companies are there? So my friend told me about this one called AGS, mm-hmm. Automated Grading System. So it's an app, and then you kind of scan in, so you take a picture of the card, and they'll do the automatic grading for you. And then no that right. way, it's, it's a lot less biased. So the PSA, it's it's human graded. So there can be sometimes nuances of like, all right, this is worth this grade versus an automated grading system is, mm-hmm. you know, it's a, it's a automated, it's going to be the same every single time versus people, it might vary person to person. So yeah, AGS, automated grading system, it'll, before you pay to actually get it like a real deal grade, you can, because they they do grading as well, but you can get it uh, automatically graded on their app and then they can say, all right, this is how much this is worth versus, mm-hmm. I mean, on the automated grading system. And then they can give you like a in-person, so they have a machine that scans it versus like just scanning with the app. So it's a, it's like a I guess like a conveyor belt kind of thing, but like a little, okay. like a box and you put the card in there and then they scan it um, front, back, side, sides, and then they get you to automated grading. So that's pretty cool. You can send it off to them. I'm sure it costs less than $100 minimum per card once you actually send it to them. But yeah, they actually give you an idea of like, all right, this is worth this much in this condition versus having to send it and then hoping that you hear some decent numbers that you like and you have the budget for it. Yeah. So wait, what did you find out so far about your card? Nothing yet or... Um, no, nothing yet. So actually the app, it was like, we're upgrading right now. So we can't do the scans. So I actually wasn't even able to scan it yet. Oh, in those, okay. in, yeah. In those whole two weeks. But the, okay. uh, a neat thing to mention about the AGS um, company is it's actually owned by Master P. Um, so oh. yeah, it's black owned. Um, nice. Okay. And they make appearances at cons as well. So they're trying to grow their con presence. So like, if you go to, let's say New York Comic Con, they may have AGS there. So you can bring your cards that you want graded and they'll have their machines uh, oh, physically cool. yeah physically there so they can do the gradings for you so that's actually yeah. really neat um and that guys, doesn't, it, it yeah and it doesn't sound like they would try to rip you off like that other company <laughs> yeah, right <laughs> that's yeah, nuts I, but yeah they're, they're like the biggest well psa is like the biggest name in the game so i mean i guess you're probably paying for the name but yeah most but people that's ridiculous. That grading standard so how much did you see the card selling for on ebay when you told us last time um so i saw listings in the tens of thousands but the last actual sold price um, was maybe like 2000 that I saw. Okay. But that so was if, a pretty high grade. So if your card was worth like 5,000, then you would probably have to end up paying them like how much money do you think to grade it? Uh, so on that scale, I think it was like $500 if it's oh my Lord. between, between one and 10,000, something like, but like that. I don't understand why, like just because a card <laughs> is a high grade, why does it cost more for you to yeah, grade your, it? The amount of work you did literally did not change, but I guess exactly. That's that's, that's like a that's such a scam. Okay. Well, anyway, I hope that you're able to scan your card on the what is it? ASG? AGS. AGS. Automated grading system. Uh, yes. I hope that you're able to figure out the value of your cards soon with that. Yep. 
Um, anything else? Uh, I started watching Shaman King season two on mm -hmm. Netflix. Pretty good so far. Well, I mean, I've seen it already, but the remake is going pretty well. The Demon Slayer getting ready for this Jujutsu Kaisen movie. So tickets have released. I'm going to go ahead and buy my Wait, tickets. Wait, when is, when is that coming out? Next month, March. Uh, my boyfriend didn't even finish watching Jujutsu Kaisen yet. He's behind. Oh, okay, I got to tell him to finish so we can go see that. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a prequel, so I don't think you need to see oh, the okay. actual season. Yeah, so it's, yeah. Well, that's good. story. Yeah. Okay. Um, did you get your tickets to uh, see Batman? Are you going to see Batman this weekend? Oh, totally forgot. I came out this weekend. <laughs> I know, right? We all I'll did. do that. Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> we all forgot. Um, I got to figure out when I'm going to see it. I definitely want to see it for the podcast next week. So I'll probably try to see it on Friday. Um, three hours of my life. Yeah. So, so probably fun. Thursday, Thursday, Friday, maybe I'll go. Or even, yeah. maybe even Saturday. Mm -hmm. Um, And then... Sorry, were you saying something else? I don't remember. Uh, no, that was it for me. Oh, okay, okay. What are, what are your nerdy things? Um, I haven't been doing a ton. I've been doing a little bit of things. So I've been reading Attack on Titan. I'm on chapter 97 of Attack on Titan. So I'm almost done. So I have stopped watching it. So I'm not up to date on the anime yet just because I want to finish the manga before I continue watching the anime. So I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I should be done with Attack on Titan in like the next couple of days. Uh, and I'm surprised I was able to get through it so fast. But uh, I have a much better understanding of the show now, now that I've read the manga. So uh, I am happy that I decided to read it from the beginning. Um, what else did I do? So we got Elden Ring for PS5, which is like the new the new big game that just came out. James, I know you didn't get that game. Because <laughs> like, <it> just, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't seem like your cup of tea at all. But um, we've been playing that for a little bit. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, it's very, it's very different in terms of like, there isn't, well, there's a story, but like, there's no real clear objectives for you to advance the story. Like there's no quest or anything like that. It's very much like open world exploratory and you just stumble upon things as you're wandering around and there's like no real direction. So like, it's kind of weird in that aspect, but um, it's fun. Uh, the world is cool to explore. There's some really like challenging enemies uh, they have like a cool online mode where like you get to kind of see like you kind of like see ghost images of like who else is playing like online and like what you like if, if someone in this is in the same area as you like you kind of see like a ghost image of them uh, so that's and, like what they're doing so like that's kind of cool and like you can leave messages for people like in the world also uh, like for other people in the neck you can just read people's messages um, some of them are stupid but some of them are also helpful uh, like they'll warn you if like something dangerous is coming up ahead, stuff like that. So that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I know like everyone was everyone who everyone was playing that this week, and I've been seeing a lot of stuff online about it. Uh, so. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of buzz about that. Yeah, so I've been playing it. I feel like you. No, you're not gonna like it. Never mind. I was gonna say I feel like you should try to play it, but I don't know if you're gonna like it. I'll probably check some streams out and then. Yeah, check out some streams. Yeah, yeah. I think you should definitely do that at least. Um, but yeah, so that's been good. What else have I been doing? Did I do anything else? Oh my god. Hmm. Did you watch Bel Air? Oh, I haven't started it yet. Oh my god! I know you. I knew. I knew you haven't started it yet, James. <laughs> You're so behind Man. now. There's already five episodes out. Sheesh! I got some binging to do then. Well, yeah, because three episodes came out on the initial release, and then two episodes have come out on a week to week since then. So. Yes, you are behind. Ah, I kind of want to talk to you about it today because it's so good. You gotta watch that. Oh man, yeah. Let me. All right, I'll do that today. <laughs> did you um? Did you finish Peacemaker? I did. Okay. What were your? Th Actually, mm, no. Nope, never mind. We're all over the place <laughs> today. What were your thoughts on? What are your final thoughts on Peacemaker now that it's over? Uh, is, isn't it announced that there's a second season coming? Yes, because it's so uh, good. <laughs> yeah. So I'm not sure what's gonna happen in the second season. It it didn't seem like they left on a cliffhanger, but. It'll probably just be about something completely different. Yeah, well, yeah. I guess that's cool. But I mean, yeah, it was it was cool overall. I, I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. But oh, wha yeah. I don't, <laughs> yo, I don't understand. Everyone loved it. Like I haven't not met like you and Jaja are the only people that I've talked to about the show who don't like it. I'm so surprised. I don't know. That. It just maybe it just wasn't totally for me. I mean, <laughs> I, I did. I won't say I was completely bored watching it towards the end, but I, I mean, yeah, I wouldn't. If someone was looking for a good show to watch, I wouldn't say, hey, man, check out Peacemaker. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You're so crazy. 
guys, I'm going to post this clip in our Instagram this week and I'm going to just <laughs> be like, oh, can I need everyone who liked Peacemaker to tell James he's crazy? I don't know. Um, I was really surprised by the Justice League cameo at the end that they were actually able to get Jason, uh, uh, Jason Momoa and whatever his name is that plays Barry uh, last year. Alan, yeah, into the, the, into the show for like 20 seconds. I was like, well, more I so, wasn't expecting that. Yeah, more so Jason Momoa because the other guy, I don't really know. Wait, no, he is, what's his name? Ezra? Urza? Urza Miller? Is that his real name? I believe so. Yeah, yeah, he's acting, never mind. Yeah, I was surprised that they were able to get both of them in there for like 20 seconds. That was cool. And yeah, that was completely unexpected as well. Um, but I am looking forward to season two. It was such a good show. I don't know what's wrong with you guys. I'm, I'm personally offended by this. <laughs> I am. Maybe, uh, maybe I have no vested interest in, uh, the Peacemaker character. I mean, in the movie, he was cool though. Um, Suicide Squad movie. I did like that. So. Mm. Was it, Thank you. was it all the stuff about his background, his racist father and other things like that? Uh, no, nah, I wasn't really, I mean, it just didn't grasp me from the beginning. Okay. Okay. I thought John Cena, well, for what it's worth, I thought John Cena did a really good job with this character. Um, I thought it was really good and I'm looking forward to season two. Um, all right. Have you been, have you played Pokemon Arceus at all or not yet still? Nah, yeah. So I definitely haven't, haven't played. I, I did watch my friend stream it though. So, uh, I have found my answer that if I watch someone stream something, I'm probably not going to play it myself. Unless it's good enough. But I feel like in this case, this game probably isn't good enough for, for you to want to yeah. play yourself. Uh, Unless it's like a, like a multiplayer where sometimes it's like competitive type of thing. But if it's just a, a story stream, then I, I won't want to play the story for myself. Yes. So uh, there's some new news that Pokemon, uh, they just announced that Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, which is going to be a brand new open world Pokemon adventure, is going to be coming to Switch in late 2022. So right on the heels of Arceus, we can expect another open world Pokemon game. So yeah. with new starters. Yeah. Uh, I wonder which ones uh, those are going to be. I didn't, I wasn't aware of any of the starters in, um, in Arceus. <laughs> I'm just so out of touch with Pokemon now. Like, I don't know who anyone, I don't know who any of these new Pokemon are. So, um, all right. So I'm just going to read a little bit off this article from IGN. So the games are going to feature a new region. Oh, the three starters have already been revealed actually. So you can choose between Grass Cat, Spur, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Hold on, wait. Do you hold on, wait? I feel like I need to put this article in here that I'm looking at so that you can so that you can see what I'm reading. I'm put it in this chat. Sprigatito. Yes. Sprig <laughs> wait, oh my god. Have you agree can you agree? Can we agree that the quality of the Pokemon has gone down over the years? Yeah, they definitely are running out of things. Once they had like a chandelier and a napkin, I was like, all right, guys. Oh, yeah. Like once they started like making inanimate objects Pokemon, I was like, all right, guys, we're going way too far now. Yeah. Then remixing current ones. That's how I knew. Tell me how I put Grass Cat Spr Spurgito in Google Images and in the shopping, like a whole bunch of like actual like cat litter and like actual cat scrat. Like cat grass came up in my image search anyway uh i just want to look at these pokemon i'm gonna put when i edit this i'm gonna put the images of these pokemon in the in the video for youtube just so that you guys can see it oh okay okay i have a, i found a picture of all three of them interesting 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 yeah the grass cat looks like a traditional pokemon Actually, yeah, they all look like traditional Pokemon. Do they? Little, I want to say the fire, the fire one. Yeah, the fire one. I don't think that that one looks like a traditional Pokemon. To be honest, I feel like Pokemon. I don't know. I don't know. But okay, whatever. Yeah, um, like animal based. Yeah, like they were very and like they still are to an extent, but like they're starting to mix in a whole bunch of different things and with Pokemon as well. So. Uh, yeah, what's this? A duck with a pompadour? That's, that's very <laughs> that's very pokemon yeah yes yes the what is it quackly quaxly quack what's his name quaxly oh my that's god the best, that's the best pronunciation i got quaxly. for now but. i sound like such a noob i'm so sorry but i'm like so i'm like really removed from pokemon now like same <laughs> um so let's see 
Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are an evolutionary step for the Pokemon franchise and feature an open world where various towns with no borders blend seamlessly into the wilderness. That sounds cool. Uh, the company also notes that Pokemon can be seen everywhere in this wide open world, in the skies, in the sea, and on the streets. That sounds fun. And they released some images from the game, too. Um, I want to say that these graphics look better. Did you see the pictures, um, James? Yeah, I watched the trailer. I want to say that the gra- do you, would you say the graphics look better than RCS graphics? They do. I would well, say so. Yeah, they do. Yeah, maybe maybe wishful thinking, but at least for trailer purposes, this does look yeah, visually it, better. Yeah. It it does look visually better. I so I can say that I will probably definitely buy this game when it comes out. Maybe I'll skip RCS because like I feel like I haven't heard like people have been saying good things about it, but like. I haven't heard people praising it enough where like I still like I want to buy it right now. So maybe I'll wait for this game and and I'll give this game a try because this game does look cool. Um, but no actual release date on that yet. It just says late 2022, which probably means maybe for the holidays, holiday season. the holiday season, the game will be out, which is fine because they need to let you know, they need to give enough room for RCS to breathe and like have its time. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's cool. Um, so but- I, it- it seems like they must not plan on doing any sort of live updates for Arceus then if there's a new open world Pokemon game coming out within the same year. Probably not. Maybe this will be the one that they're like, all right, Arceus was kind of the rough trap. Now here's the real entry. And then mm-hmm. yeah, probably. that'll be a longer lifespan of the game. Yeah. Um. All right. Let's see what else is going on in Pokemon. Not Pokemon. <laughs> video oh, game. We news. have some, some Nintendo news. Well, video game news. Yeah. Nintendo related. So actually, um, I don't know. I don't know if any Evo fans out here, fighting game community, but um, Evo has announced that Nintendo will not allow them to have Smash at Evo. So um, Evo is like a fighting game championship. Nintendo is really dang. They're Come really on, uh, weird. They're weird about their titles being used for this this purpose. But why? Um, <laughs> I that's that's a good question. We should invite someone from Nintendo. To <laughs> yeah, Evo. I'm sure that if you be- work at Nintendo and you're a big wig. <laughs> Let, it, let us know why why you guys don't want us to have fun um yeah <laughs> <laughs> so it's, yeah evo is a, a fighting game championship um they have big fight game big um titles like street fighter mortal kombat dragon ball fighters um and then smash was one of the bigger draws too so i actually go to evo to play smash mm-hmm. i don't play the other traditional fighters because i'm not that good at them uh i'm not the best at smash i'll, I'll still talk trash though but <laughs> I, I do play um smash bros competitively at evo I feel like Smash is a very effective button mashing game. I feel like you can be very successful if you button mash correctly in Smash. <laughs> Until uh, you get to Evo and then somebody yeah, that, yeah. that knows oh, what yeah. they're doing, will, uh, <laughs> they will make your day, so to say. But now they're not allowing Smash to be at Evo. Right. So, um, mm-hmm. yeah, there, there was a GameCube game called Project M. It was based off Smash Brothers. Um, mm-hmm. That was a, one, of the, one of the bigger ones, but that was removed too. So um, there, was a, there was a large following for like Smash Bros at Evo. Well, Smash Bros fighting game community, there's a large following anyhow. But for it to be tied to Evo, that was like a, a huge draw at Evo. I think it was one of the most played games in Evo, if I'm not mistaken. So um, Evo will be looking pretty scarce this year without Smash. Come on, Nintendo. Why are you doing it? First of all, Nintendo, I have a feel. Nintendo, I'm starting to gather that Nintendo's no fun. Did you hear about what they did to that kid um, who was like... Uh, what was he doing? Hacking their games, and they they and he wasn't even the main one. He was like working with a company, but did you hear that they like sentenced him to like what is it? Like, hold on, let me look this up so I don't misspeak about it. Hacker sentenced to prison and probably fined. I'm sure. Yeah, and fined like millions of dollars. Uh... Okay. All right. So Gary Bowser. So he was the public face behind the Nintendo ROM hacker group team executor, but he was not like the, he was the public face, but like, there's still like a whole bunch of people that was working with him, you know? So he was sentenced to three years in prison. Uh, I think they, okay. So I think they lessened his sentence. So originally he was looking at upwards of 10 years uh, for his crime, but now he's three years. And I think he was also fined. Let me get to get the amount that he was fined. Uh, 
oh maybe they took away the fine because i i saw the i thought the fine the fine was like a million dollars something like that or maybe more Ish. yeah oh yeah yeah oh, okay so he originally pled guilty to two counts conspiracy to circumvent technological measures and to traffic in circumvention devices and was hit with a 4.5 million fine as a result. A month later, he received a further $10 million fine and damages brought against him in a separate civil suit by Nintendo. That's nuts. That's a lot of, that's a lot of loot. Yeah. And he, um, they also did an article like on his background and stuff. And, you know, he's like, he's like, you know, kind of poor. Like he, like he doesn't come from a well-off. So like he can't pay that obviously. So it's just kind of like, that kind of sucks. You know what I mean? Yeah, but like, I, mean, I guess they're making making examples of everyone that tampers with their I know. IPs. But like, what's the point of finding him like fifteen million dollars if you know you're never gonna get that money from him? Are you gonna garnish his? I read another article that they're probably just gonna garnish his wages. But like, that means his, his wages are gonna be garnished for the rest of his life. That's nuts. Yeah, I guess. I mean, that that will certainly discourage anyone else from trying to do the same thing. Yeah. Which is, I'm sure, what, what they want in the, the grand scheme of things. Yeah, it sucks though. Sorry, dude. But yeah, don't don't try to hack Nintendo's. Uh, yeah. Don't try to hack Nintendo's servers. I guess Think twice before you do it. Yeah. Uh, any other Nintendo news? Um, uh, not Nintendo related, but there is fighting game related. Uh, the new Street Fighter Six has been announced. Ah. For next gen uh, consoles, so uh, I'm not a Street Fighter fan. I suck at uh, Street I mean, Fighter. I, I think it's cool. I just don't play it. Um, so mm -hmm. for anyone that does play Street Fighter or is interested and hasn't heard yet, Street Fighter 6 has been announced. Check out the trailer. I think you'll like it. It looks pretty cool. Um, the, the so graphics, for next gen. The graphics are good. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking at the trailer now. I actually didn't see it. Yeah, the graphics are good. I am not good. I'm, I suck at Street Fighter. Oh, my God. I'm so bad at it. Same. <laughs> But I do like I do, it's a it's a good game. I'm just not good at it. Um, but there's no date for that yet. But that is coming. The trailer's out. Cool. I hope that comes out in 2022 also. But um, we'll see. Um, all right. What else before we move on to other things? Elden Ring is like all over IGN. Everyone's playing Elden Ring. It's good. It's the hottest title right now. It is. I think it it, it took some of the uh. Some of the airtime off of Horizon. So the new Horizon game dropped, and yeah, I haven't been hearing much about that. But Elden Ring. Has Wait, been... Horizon's out too already? Oh shoot. It is. Oh it's the yeah, it has. It definitely overshadowed Horizon, and I feel like Elden Ring kind of like. I want to say that I wasn't hearing much about it until leading up to like its release, and then like the first time I heard about it was like a couple days before it came out, and then it was just out, and then everyone was just on it. So <laughs> I don't know. Um, I guess because maybe people would prefer to play Elden Ring because it's a little more customized. Like you make your you make your own character, you know, and it's a lot. I don't want to say that like I feel like Horizon, even though it's open worlds, I feel like it's a lot more linear than Elden Ring is. So maybe like people prefer to be more exploratory than um than they would get the chance to be with in what call it. Sorry, I'm like all over the place. Um, or they just haven't haven't played the first horizon so i, I fall in that category i i was planning on playing the first horizon but i hadn't i hadn't gotten to it yet but i do have it um in my backlog of games that i need to play i'm surprised you want to play horizon at all yeah i keep hearing people talking about it so i want to see what the hype's about it's not a shooter i wonder if you're gonna like it we'll see yeah <laughs> we will see we'll see we'll see um any more video game news? I'm sure there's some, but any more video game news that we care about? Prior to airing, I'm sure as soon as we finish recording, someone's going to announce a buyout and um, we'll be the last to report. That's literally what always happens to us. <laughs> and then we sound outdated because we, because <laughs> the time, the gap of time that the podcast comes out, I'm about to just start releasing the podcast like as soon as we record it, like on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> We maybe should just I'll, make a prediction. Hope it's true. Yeah, maybe I should change our release date to Monday instead of instead of Tuesday because I feel like we'd be missing mad stuff. Um, all right. Anyway, so let's move on to some other stuff. Like I was saying, Peacemaker was renewed for season two. All the episodes are going to be set to be directed by James Gunn. So I, I enjoyed the season immensely. So I'm sure that season two will be just as good, if not better than season one. So I'm looking forward to that. Um. 
And we all know James's opinion. He doesn't like Peacemaker, so you know we won't spend too much time on it. Okay, peacemaker hater. <laughs> um, what else is going on? Oh, a new trailer for the boys dropped. Oh, but James didn't. James doesn't like the boys either. Oh my gosh, oh, I'm James. just an overall hater. Uh, was that an animated show? So I did see that. It, it looked like it was something animated. Oh, right, because they are releasing an animated version of the show, too. I forgot. I don't know why they're doing that, though, because. Interesting. Yeah, that's the reverse of turn a animated thing into live action. I don't, turn a live action I don't, to animated. Like, I don't know if I'd be interested in watching an animated version of The Boys if I'm already watching The Boys. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's literally the same thing as what I'm watching in live action. So I'm not I really think sure. The same voice actors. Like yeah. Yeah. What could it add? Yeah, so I'm not really sure why. And I'm not sure why they're putting together, like, why are they wasting time on this instead of giving me an update for when season two of Invincible is coming out? <laughs> I'd rather have that. That's what we want. Uh-huh. We need, we need that season two of Invincible. We do. When is that coming out? Because I would love to play that. Um, what else? Sorry, guys. We're like, all I'm trying to like figure out a logical way to go to talk about these things. So I'm trying to figure out where to go next after this. Uh, Disney has just Disney announced uh, last week that all the Disney Plus shows that left Netflix are going to Disney Plus. So fear not if you were upset that all the shows left Netflix, they're just going to be on Disney. Um, and they are going to be on Disney Plus. When? Hmm. No date yet. <laughs> wait. Oh, wait. Yes, I did. March 16th in Canada. Don't know. Don't know about the U.S. though. So it's unknown if Disney Plus in the United States and other territories will begin streaming these series on this date or at a later time. So if you're in Canada, you can watch these or shows you, again. Or if you use a VPN. Or if you use a VPN. Yes. I, use, I used to use a VPN and then I stopped paying for it. So <laughs> I am now limited to all that America has to offer me. Um, oh, did you see, because we're kind of late on this because we didn't record last week. Did you see the trailer for the new trailer for Doctor Strange? The one that got released at the Super Bowl? Oh, yeah, I did. Okay, if you didn't, I was going to stop and make you watch it because that's crazy. <laughs> um, um, okay, so after watching that trailer, because I know that you said that you didn't foresee this movie being more hyped up than Spider-Man. But after seeing that trailer, what do you think now? Uh, my opinion has not changed. What? No, I love Spider-Man. James, <laughs> what are you talking about? Professor uh, X just... <laughs> Professor X was in that trailer, James. What do you mean? <laughs> uh, yeah, Pref Professor X is cool and all. But have you seen Peter Parker? But the X-Men are going to be in... Doctor Strange. <laughs> yeah. to some that, is, that is that How? is pretty exciting though. I, I must admit, I, I'm not hating on it. I just I just like Spider Man more. Um, I, I'm still gonna watch watch this Doctor Strange movie. Not to of say that I'm not gonna watch it or anything like that, but but you're not hype about it. Oh my god. Oh, no, I, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely hyped. Just not as hyped as Spider Man. That yeah, that's all I'm saying. I'm not saying I'm not hyped for it. Just, <laughs> okay. I yeah. think yeah. I think that after the second, so I could agree that maybe like it wasn't as hyped up before the second drop of the trailer, but after the second trailer dropped, I think that, um, I think that it's gonna be more hyped than Spider-Man, especially since we have a couple months of buildup left until the movie actually comes out. But um, that, that Professor X cameo in the trailer, I think was pretty mind blowing to a lot of people. I feel like a lot of people were very excited by that. And if they're willing to announce, if they're willing to reveal that Professor X is gonna make an appearance in the movie, and, you know, like Marvel's kind of very secretive about their trailers. So, you know, like in the Spider-Man trailer, we only got to see the villains, but, you know, no mention of 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 uh, Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire. So if they're willing to reveal that Professor X is in the movie right off the bat, it only makes you wonder who else is going to make a cameo in this movie. I'm very excited yeah. about that. That was an interesting reveal for, uh, for a trailer, especially knowing Marvel's history of, you know, keeping things under wraps mm -hmm. or trying to as best they can. Yeah. So I feel like some crazy stuff is going to be in this movie. Also, um, 
if you haven't watched uh, WandaVision or What If, I feel like you should definitely watch that because this movie, I know that they did, um, I know that they did some reshoots because originally Doctor Strange was supposed to come out like closer to when WandaVision came out, but it got delayed. Uh, so I think that they did the reshoots to kind of like mend the story a little bit. So it more aligns with like what happened after Spider-Man. But there's also going to be a lot of elements of what if in here and WandaVision as well. So if you didn't watch WandaVision, you should definitely go back and watch WandaVision. And you should go back and watch what if, because there are some what if things that are spilling over into reality here. And I know a lot of people didn't watch what if or didn't care about what if, but it's definitely going to play a role in the live action Marvel movies. So definitely, definitely watch that because we definitely saw like Doctor Strange's evil dark twin in the trailer. And a lot of people were saying that zombie Wanda was in here as well. So we'll, we'll see. But yeah, I'm going to go back and rewatch it because I actually never watched the season finale of What If. I still haven't watched it yet. <laughs> so. Oh, Shannon, what are you doing? I know. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's all right, though. I'm going to rewatch. I'm going to rewatch the whole series. I'm actually um, I'm actually planning on doing a master rewatch of Marvel. So I'm going to watch everything in chronological order, including like the Disney Plus shows and all the movies. I'm going to do that leading up to the release of Doctor Strange. And I kind of want to find a way to like chronicle my my journeys through that. I feel like this is probably a time to get more active on social media and bring more followers to the podcast by like documenting this on social media. Yeah. I just haven't figured out how to be creative on social media to do that yet, but I'm going to work on that. You um, vlog it, real style. <laughs> yeah, once I figure out how to make a reel effectively because <laughs> I don't know how to do any of that but um I yeah because I definitely want to talk about it because the main thing I want to do is point out um is like talk about it as a whole and point out plot holes because I know that there are like a lot of plot holes sprinkled in uh that I've caught on many times we watching the movies so I'm going to be watching on chronological order and point out things that I noticed that like they didn't plan for in past or future movies uh now that you're watching it in sequential order so I'm definitely gonna do that yeah and then once that goes viral, Marvel will contact you and ask you to help them fill in those <laughs> potholes for future movies. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. When you see Shannon with a Marvel hat, it's exactly what you think. <laughs> sure. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to start that. Uh, Doctor Strange comes out May 6th, I want to believe, which is not that far from now. So there's a lot of Marvel content already out. So I'll probably be starting this in the first or second week of March just so I can give myself enough time to watch everything. We are a few months out. Jaja texted me and told me he woke up late just now. <laughs> we hope he's well rested. <laughs> it's my fault, guys. I forgot to remind everyone yesterday <laughs> that we were recording today. Um, all right, what is next? Uh, do we want some... Some strange news? Yes. Okay. There's a new live action announced for Fairly Odd Parents. Oh, okay. I knew that's where you were going. Yeah. I saw this too, and I was just. I saw it. Why? But this is what I'm. Why? That's, that's what I want to know. Who, who asked for this? No one. No one asked for it. And who's it for? Who's the target audience? That is a good question because I don't think it still comes on now. So No, it doesn't. It uh, doesn't come on. It would, it would be our age demographic and. I'm sure we're not the ones asking for this movie. So we're not. We're not. Don't want to see it. Um. Also, they already attempted to do a live action. Uh, Fairly Odd Parents <laughs> with with Drake Drake Bell. Drake uh, Bell didn't work. Uh, and now this new guy. I don't know this guy's name. That's gonna be. I just. I just don't think it's necessary. I don't think that anyone from our generation is gonna watch it. And like, the generation below us, like they don't know. I feel like they don't know what Fairly Odd Parents is. So it's just like I don't really understand. Not why and who gave whoever's working on this show like who gave them the idea but this just goes to show yeah. e even more every day hollywood is proving how like non-creative they are by like just rebooting these things exactly they're running out of ideas once again hollywood you can contact shannon she has some naruto fanfic I do. We can get unreleased. We can I mean, get some new stories out there. <laughs> it is released, but it's lost in the vault forever. No one will see it. Um, maybe I'll let you guys read it one day. Um, what? Oh, also, speaking of reboots, did you watch? So the Proud Family reboot is out. And that started. Did you see any of that? Oh, I didn't know it started yet. 
I didn't know it started either. I just found that out. Um, I didn't get a chance to watch Man. any of it yet. But I lost in the sauce. <laughs> I'll start so, that too. I, there's so much stuff I gotta start. I'm gonna watch. Okay, Bel Air and Proud Family. I'll watch those. Proud sure. Family. Oh, you know what else I watched also that I meant to mention in my nerdy things? The Cuphead show. So there's a Cuphead show out there on Netflix. So I was watching that, and it's pretty good also. So I don't know if you ever have you played Cuphead before? I have. Okay. <laughs> Are you? Do you have any interest in watching a show? Yeah, I watch it. Yeah, it, it's pretty fun. It reminds me of like you know Looney Tunes days. So uh does it I, look like kind of pair on on par with the game like yeah yeah oh man yeah i'm gonna check that out i really like the animation style in the game mm-hmm. yep it, it that it carries over directly into the show like that so um it's it's really cool so gotcha. i would demand giving yeah. giving that a little watch and that's like a quick watch there's like 12 episodes but they're like what like 20 minutes so it's easy to get there. i never beat the game so i'll definitely has, I'll, i'm gonna watch the show has anyone ever beat the game <laughs> <laughs> that's a good question that's that's probably the hardest game i ever played <laughs> i will never touch that game again it's so frustrating like yeah. i don't the game the show is much easier you know it's much easier to watch it's it's fun it's fun fun and friendly um yeah so when and so look at that four things you have to wait three three things you have to watch you have a lot of stuff to watch this week james yeah bel air uh proud family cuphead and finish shaman king I can do that in a week. That should be that should just, be pretty uh, easy. Though. Just turn on the TV right after this podcast is over. Exactly. <laughs> and then you'll be good. Um, and background watch all of it. No, you can't background watch <laughs> Bel Air. You can background watch the Cuphead show, but definitely pay attention to Bel Air. Bel Air is really good. The key to liking Bel Air is just to not compare it to the original show. I feel like a lot of people were doing that initially, but it is nothing like the original show, and it's not really pretending to be anything like the original show. You just have the same characters, but like it's a different genre it's a different story so as long as you are not as long as you go into it with that mindset and you're not comparing it to the original then you will appreciate it for what it is that's what i, have I actually like watching shows like that like i don't i don't typically go into something trying to compare it to anything else even if it's like a competitive like like dc and marvel movies i typically don't watch a dc movie like how does it stack up to marvel i kind of mm-hmm. watch it for its own so like shazam i really like shazam and then i never i still never saw a movie <laughs> It's not a Marvel movie, so like people were hating on it. But, uh, <laughs> that sounds like me. That sounds like me. <laughs> Are you secretly trying to tell me something, James? <laughs> nah, I'm not. I'm not secretly throwing shade. Not, so yeah, that I just like watching things kind of like on their own. Like, all right, this is a good standalone kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. I also so I'll share kind of a, a little. Oh, plus this is a fun fact about me watching stuff. So like on Netflix, I actually watch things typically at like 1.5 or two speed. I don't know why. Really? I just yeah <laughs> i have no idea when or why i started that but yeah, if, if, typically i'll watch it sped up i don't know why i do that um i get through it quicker though it's because we as adults have very little free time so we're trying to just speed through things oh no i got sometimes i have just way too much free time but um oh, I, mean, I just like watching it sped up yeah i well i mean i had free time but i wasted doing random stuff like uh what's the last random thing i was doing um let me look around <laughs> <laughs> okay i can't think of the last random thing i did but sometimes i'll have like mad time on my hands and i'll i'll get into some some weird thing that i'm doing at home and i'm like why am i doing this and then i'll do something productive <laughs> i feel like i'm the same way so i i, I completely understand what you're talking about yeah. um, but no sometimes i don't have free time but yeah the times i do have free time and i'm watching a show i'll, I'll still watch it sped up just because i i think i just like watching things sped up <laughs> You heard it here first, folks. It's a new way of doing things. Watch things on yeah, two times, it, two times speed. Give it, give it a try. <laughs> uh, but how much faster do you get through something as opposed to if you just watch it? What's the normal speed? Is it one or is it one and a yeah, half? Yeah, one. Is it okay. one? Is yeah, one's normal. Um, one point five cuts like fifty percent, and then two x speed. You watch it in half the time. So if you watch the hour long show on two x speed, it'll be done in half an hour. Yep. Wow, that does save a lot of time, though, doesn't it? But do you yeah, take unless in? Unless you gotta do, rewind. Do you really take in what's going on when you watch things not, on two X? Not all the time. You see? Okay. All right. I'm gonna try that though. Well, gonna... yeah. Sometimes I'll slow it down. Like if it's a fight scene, I, I don't want to see that in two X because then I'm like, man, what's going on? But yeah, like dialogue, I can watch it two X, no problem. Hmm. I'm gonna try that and see if it works for me. We'll see. I feel like I I'm not gonna be able to pay attention. Um. Yeah. YouTube videos, podcasts, all 2x speed. 
you know what? YouTube videos are a good thing to watch on 2x speed. I'll start doing that maybe for those. I'll test it out. Um, all right. So Mortal Kombat 2, a movie that I'm really not sure if people want. Uh, so there's a, re a release date has been announced for that. Uh, James, are you looking forward to a Mortal Kombat 2? Uh, definitely not. Mm -hmm. I'm not. So let's I, I probably would watch it. Well, the first one I watched because it was free on HBO Max. So I was like, oh, yeah. this is free. I'm going to watch it. But yeah, if I had to go to the theaters to pay and pay for, to see Mortal Kombat oh, 2, yeah. I, I shan't be doing that. We're entering a we're entering a new world now. Possibly could be seeing some sense of normalcy by the summertime. Um, well, not really, because now there's other stuff in the world going on. Uh, but uh, <laughs> we can't win. Um, yeah. So let me just read who could join the sequel really quick. So we might see Katana in the sequel. Uh, other characters on fans' wish list are Nightwolf, Shiva, uh, Katal Khan, and is it Shinnok? Shinnok? Yep. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I'm not interested because the first Mortal Kombat was terrible. Um, and I don't really, Pretty I mean, bad. I don't, mm, yeah. I don't really know if a second one is going to be any better or if it's just going to be as terrible with just better characters, but still in a terrible plot <laughs> with bad acting. So um, I guess we'll see. Um, we need some good movies coming out. Actually, I have a good movie that people probably want to see. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we all knew the hype that was surrounded Spider-Man in the multiverse. Okay. We got a multiverse Blues Clues coming out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I saw that. I saw that. All, all this. Well, were they all named Steve? No, yes. Steve, Joe, and Josh were their names. Oh, yes, Steve, you're right. Joe and Josh. So all three hosts and Blue in the same movie. Yes. That I may check out. That I, I sent that to my boyfriend when I saw it. I was like, we should watch this because uh, the way that they advertise it, they were like, oh, like it's going to be like Spider Man because all three of them are in it. But it's like they're technically all from the same. They were, aren't they all related? <laughs> so it's not really the same. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> so, they're all aware of each other. So it's not really yeah. the same, but it's still going to be just as entertaining. And I'm glad that they're doing that. It sounds that sounds fun. Um, I have yeah, to that dip. Would be interesting. I'm, I'm sure that I'm not the target demographic for it, but I'd still watch it just to I was check still, it out. Yeah, I would still watch it too, just for the nostalgia. Have to dig deep, like way back into my childhood for that. Um, yeah. Also, I'm going to watch, so the series finale of Arthur aired this last week. Did you hear about that? I Arthur's. Did. First of all, I had no idea that new episodes of Arthur were coming on this whole time. <laughs> so that was a Definitely. shock. That was a shock for me to learn. But uh, yeah, it shows them like all grown up like adults and like Arthur is a graphic novelist and basically he's been telling this like the whole story of Arthur he's been telling it like from as an adult like through drawing like that's oh that's a nice twist yeah 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 but um the cast looks weird as adults not gonna lie to you um so that was pretty jarring to see I don't think I want to see that but did you see the pictures of them yeah yeah what did you <laughs> what did you think uh definitely not what I envisioned so I mean there's always been like images of Kind of Arthur characters grown up. So like one of the one of the more notable ones I remember is like Arthur. He had a, a like his beard and a trench yeah. coat. He he basically looked like a guy that was on his way to brunch. And that's that's <laughs> kind of like the I I imagine all right. This is what Arthur looks like grown up, but it was like a totally different different look. I mean that's the uh, show creator's vision for what it looks like grown up. So I I can I can accept that. I didn't like what they did to Francine. She looked Francine looked like she was forty years old. Like she's been smoking <laughs> cigarettes for the last twenty years. So <laughs> um, other than that, everyone else was fine. I just don't know why they made her look so old and tired. <laughs> why they do it like that. But um, I, I'm going to watch that just because like, I kind of want to see. But this is I just knew about like the plot of what happened from like hearing people talk about it online. But yeah. Yeah. And then I'm sure after the end of the uh, that episode, they'll probably show the trailer for the live action. The live action what? Arthur? Arthur. Yeah. Wait, are you serious? There's gonna be a live action. No, I'm, I'm just oh, kidding. Oh, 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 I thought you knew something I didn't. I was about to be like, no, nah, stop. stop. The way it. things go, I wouldn't be surprised if they announce a live How action. How are they gonna do a live action Arthur? How is that gonna work? My boy Binky Barnes will be live action. <laughs> you mean like live action like computer CGI or like people nah. dressed up as animals? What do you mean? Nah, it's gonna be it's gonna be people. We're gonna have Seth Rogan. <laughs> Binky Barnes. <laughs> oh, it's Binky. <laughs> <laughs> that that that's good casting. That makes sense. But are they supposed to be playing 
children because that's the only <laughs> or are they going to be adults what do you mean <laughs> oh man we got we got to have a multiverse situation <laughs> cuz Seth Rogen cannot pass as anybody's how old were they supposed to be 12 7 yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Seth Rogen. <laughs> and definitely not appropriate for Seth Rogen either. Uh, <laughs> yeah, featuring Chris Pratt as Arthur. Oh, Lord. Oh, no, no, no. First of all, we need to stop putting Chris Pratt in everything. He needs to be yeah, he's he needs in to, everything. He needs to take a break. Um, but yeah, no, no. Um, <laughs> thank you for putting that image in my head. I really needed to see it. Yep. Thank you. Um, all right. Do you have anything else? Um, movie wise? No, nah, I do not. All right. Anything else show wise before we maybe wrap it up? Let's see. I think I've talked through everything I could talk through, guys, for having no structure uh, this episode. <laughs> I will mention there's a break of Abbott Elementary. So the next three weeks oh, yeah. they'll be taking a break. The last two episodes were actually really good. They were they were probably the better of this of the season. So I'm looking forward to the rest of the season. Yeah. yeah. I think that's been renewed for a season two already. Yes, so. yes it has. And it deserves it, was, it would be good. foolish of it, yeah, to yeah. not be. It'd be, it was really good. Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to not this week, but I guess next week I have to wait for more. But yeah, if you haven't watched that show, definitely check it out. Uh, catch up on it over the break that they're having because it's really good. All right. Well, if there's nothing else, thank you guys for joining us on this confusing episode as we zigzag back and forth. We'll be more prepared next week and Jaja should be here again next week too. Um, so as always, you can like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Blurreds Nerds. Send us an email, blurredsnerds at gmail.com and rate, review, and subscribe on your podcast listening app of choice. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. Did I say that already? If I didn't, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, as always, I'm Shannon. I'm James. Thanks for listening, guys. Bye.